According to a constitutional lawyer, a prime minister can remain in office even if the Yang di Bertuan Agong refuses his consent to dissolve the Dewan Raya. Bastian Pius Van Dagen said the Prime Minister has to vacate his office only if the majority of members of the Dewan Rakyat have lost confidence in him. The Prime Minister seeks the King's consent to dissolve Parliament and His Majesty has the discretion to agree or disagree under Article 42B of the Federal Constitution, he told FMT. The lawyer was responding to a statement by AMNO Deputy President Mohammad Hassan that the Prime Minister should resign if the King disagreed with a request for dissolution. Mohammad said this meant that the King no longer had trust in the Prime Minister and by convention, the Prime Minister should resign. At a press conference in Machap, he said AMNO would continue to push for an early general election whether or not Barisan National scores a major victory in the March 12th Johor State elections. He said AMNO would urge Ismail Sabri Yaakob to dissolve parliament, but it was up to him to decide. If the king refuses, it has nothing to do with the confidence of the majority in the Dewan Rakyat. And Ismail need not be concerned as long as he has majority support, Vindagan said. Support or the lack of it for the prime minister could be determined by a floor vote in the house and in the form of statutory declarations, as decided by a 2009 federal court ruling. Vindagan said Article 43.4 only comes into play if the Prime Minister has lost the confidence of the majority of MPs. In that case, he said, the Prime Minister could request a dissolution, failing which he would have to resign for the King to appoint another MP to fill the position.